Let us find the sum k goes from 1 to 2017 i to the power k of course i equal to square root of minus 1. We see that i plus i square plus i cube plus i to the power 4 that is equal to i, i square is minus 1, i cube is minus i, i to the power 4 is plus 1 and that is simply equal to 0. What about i to the power 5 plus i to the power 6 plus i to the power 7 plus i to the power 8? We can take i to the power 5 common or rather i to the power 4 common and we will be left with i plus i square plus i cube plus i to the power 4. As we have seen i plus i square plus i cube plus i to the power 4 equal to 0. So this product must be equal to 0. Next, what about i to the power 9 plus i to the power 10 plus i to the power 11 plus i to the power 12? Again, we can take i to the power 8 common and we will be left out with i plus i square plus i cube plus i to the power 4. That is again 0. So, sum up to i to the power 4 is 0, sum up to i to the power 8 is 0, sum up to i to the power 12 is 0. Therefore, k goes from 1 to 2, 0, 1, 7, i to the power k, i to the power k equal to k goes from 1 to 2, 0, 1, 6, i to the power k plus i to the power 2, 0, 1, 7 and this one turns out to be 0 because sum up to i to the power 4 is 0, sum up to i to the power 8 is also 0, sum up to i to the power 12 is also 0 and so sum up to any i to the power uh, 4 times natural number is always 0. So, in 2016 is a multiple of 4. So, this sum is 0. What about i to the power 2017? That is equal to i to the power 2016 into i to the power 1. If base are same, power can be added. 2016 plus 1 is 2017. Now, i to the power 2016 that equal to i to the power 4 i to the power 4 to the power 5, 0, 4. Now, i to the power 4 is just equal to 1 and 1 times i is simply equal to i. So, this is equal to i. So, the sum k goes from 1 to 2, 0, 1, 7. k goes from 1 to 2, 0, 1, 7. i to the power k is exactly equal to i.